Marbula One, the hot spot for racing everywhere. The season has concluded and a champion has been crowned, so it's time to see how my halfway point recap held up. I've got a lot to talk about, so let's, uh, get the big one out of the way first. Damn it, Madman! I can safely say that Team Galactic has the most cynical Marvel fanbase. You can count on our fans to lose faith in their team faster than Cosmo loses positions. Speaking of which, Cosmo finished the Mo Motorway in a solid fourth place. Oh, son of a- We had some depressing results at the next two races, but then I got to witness the best thing I've seen in two years. Can you believe it? We have the opportunity to get the first overall podium of our careers. What do you think happened? We squandered it. We take a trip to Midnight Bay, where despite our history with this track, Cosmo didn't necessarily find failure first. Failure found them. Then, at the final race, the star gave it the best they could, and it still wasn't enough. But what about the team standings? <sighs> I still hate looking at this. I did what very few fans of this team have ever done. I had hope. That's a mistake I'll only make once. You know how I feel about Cosmo now? Cut him. Cosmo deserves to be in Season 4 as much as the Minty Maniacs do. Let it be known, I now have about as much hope for this team as, well, these guys. Hey Thunderbolts, how's that medal treating ya? The first home race win without the help of red flags, and look what it's surrounded with. A whole seven points. Talk about losing power, you guys are about as bad as the US electrical grid. You're iconic enough to stick around for next season, but what's the point if you're just gonna be the same bottom half blunderbolts as always? I lose! To accompany the famous line, Yellup is gone, Greg Woods has given us this gem. Yellow has fallen. That's about the biggest highlight of your season. Two teams got zero medals all year. The Pinkies and you. Great company to be in. This is all too familiar for you, and if JMR gets rid of five teams like they did for this season, Mellow Yellow is done for. Just focus on the Marble League. At least you qualify well for those. Hang up the phone! Take what you did last season, and get rid of all the good moments, and you have this season. Rapidly was awful yet again this year. What a complete surprise. When you guys were officially knocked out of title contention, everyone, and I mean everyone, was rejoicing. For all the other fans in the Marbleverse, please don't stop your downward spiral. You what? Oh my god, you didn't finish last. How in the world did you manage to pull that off? The first half of their season was abysmal, but after the mid-season break, the Pinkies were almost as hot as my boyfriend. Almost. I highly doubt it's going to save your spot for next year, but I am so proud of you for being slightly better than you usually are. Wait. If you finished 19th, what garbage franchise did you end up beating? Yeah, this team blacked out. Your hilarious failures keep compounding. The only medal the Wisps got this season was back at the racing equivalent of a bingo cage. I guess you don't need to worry about who's going to race next year because there won't be a next year. If you don't qualify for the Marble League in the fall, then I could see your fans jumping ship to a team that is actually respectable. Bring on the chicks! You did just enough to be a good team, but not actually win anything special. The Balls of Chaos had a tough end to the season. Clutter finished worst out of all the marbles eligible for the individual championship, and finished sixth as a result. Tumult didn't help much. If Coach Harmony is smart, Tumult will join Anarchy on the bench. But hey, knowing this spaz of a team, I wouldn't put it past them to cut clutter next year. You guys live up to your name. That is all. Now why would you do that? Team Momo was average. Again. Momo the Marble decided that it was fun to fall down the order at the Honey Dome, and did the exact same thing at Electron Expressway. Only this time, they stayed down. This resulted in a whopping three points for that marble in the second half. How did Mimo do, though? They put it together at last. Look no further than this masterpiece. Through the tunnel, go to the inside there. Did Mimo get it done? Yes! Your reserve is still the best member of your team. Seventh ain't bad. We still love you. Sparkles, settle down. 
you get a bronze, and you get a bronze, and you get a bronze, and we're all out. That's all you did. The second half of your season was actually really impressive. And despite my grumblings, you shot up the standings and finished in the top half. I would clap for you, but the noise might disturb you since you're not used to having anybody do that. I'm going to try my best to not be salty. I just want to say that if Royal finished in any position other than first, Starry would have had an individual podium. Such is life, and I'm okay with it. Mostly. Anyways, your season was really fun to watch. The only reason you weren't in contention for the title was because you hit a slump, but you rallied late and pulled off a huge upset, not to mention playing spoiler in the championship. I think you deserve double third places. And remember, I'm totally fine with that. Why can't you let me have one thing? I'm sorry, who'd you say you were? Say it with me, guys. Bumble saved our team. Without that great finish at the last race, it would have been over for you. But Bumble vaulted the team into 11th to end the season, meaning the Honey Dome might return. That's like the only reason we want you in season four. Hopefully the JMA doesn't give you the snowballs treatment. Breaking news, the Bumblebees are getting some extra help from the Hornets, because when you think of success, you think of the Hornets. Now, I know that nobody on YouTube has ever seen this video, but I promise you that I did say this when I made a very scuffed recap of Marble League 2020. The Battle of the Wing Stingers reaches an exciting conclusion. Which coach will get squashed against a windshield first after that terrible first year showing? I think we know who won that battle. Well, I hope the so-called talent on the Hornets squad serves you well. Cause I'm a one-man show. Just... wow. How poetic is this? Prim carries Mary through Season 1. Both Prim and Rima did average in Season 2, narrowly escaping the cutting board. And Prim uses this new opportunity to score... 3 points. You know where they're from? Pole position. They finished 18th in that race! Arup, on the other hand, did an amazing job, carrying the team into a mid-pack finishing spot just like I said. Imer is the only untested member of your roster, and they're undoubtedly going to be in next season. What the heck is going to happen after that? Action! Your team is on the bubble. You show flashes of talent, but it might not be enough. Bonbon bon scored your only medal of the season, but did nothing outside of that. Mocha did have a good second half, though. If the Chocolatiers were to return next season, I think Bonbon bon has to go. Maybe hire the safety marble. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Let us rejoice in the fact that we don't have a repeat winner. It was all thanks to your second half. Red Eye had mid-pack finishes, and Yellow Eye had some real bad ones, allowing you guys to slip from first to second. The Cat's Eyes have a knack for falling apart right at the end. Red Eye still won the individual championship, so congrats on not being completely disappointing. This team is still a force to be reckoned with. This is a special news bulletin. The Hazers suck. After years of deciding they had better things to do than finish on the podium, the Hazers imploded in hilarious and mediocre fashion for the third installment in the Marble Games. Smoggy showed promise early, but if you look past the track that is the equivalent of hell freezing over, you will see a collage of 15th place finishes. Hazy finished 39th out of 40. And a recent development took place that saw Hazy essentially kicked out of Marble League 2022. Fans of all teams responded with criticism of the move. To me, it's the best thing the Hazers have done since finishing last in Marble Cross. Stay tuned for the next news report where we can only hope the Hazers fulfill their destiny as nameless gray faces. I'm better than you! Well, good thing you didn't blow this one. I remember when people were calling for Clementon to be swapped out earlier in the season but they put on a show in their last outing and proved all the doubters wrong. Now the O-Rangers get to celebrate with the greatest trophy in all of marble racing. The Best Bonk Award! Before we check out the winner, let me take you through some honorable mentions, because there are some good ones. Red Eye on that infamous split. Tumult entering the tubes. Wispy off the back of Hazy. And obviously Bon Bon. I have a video on that one. But Orangin takes the Best Bonk Award with a leap of faith at the Electron Expressway. 
even making the replay, so we get an amazing Nine. angle. Congratulations, Orangen. It's a shame your team won't qualify for the Marble League in the fall. Quack, quack, quack. Welcome back to Relevance. Your racers were dead in the water, but you put together the best second half out of any team by far. 82 points, and it's enough to jump from 19th to 6th overall. With the Marble League on the horizon, the Green Ducks look to continue their success. Just try not to be as pathetic as you were before the halfway mark. One whiskey? The Turtle Sliders did exactly what I expected them to. Secured another dead last, narrowly missed a podium, got gold at the Mo Motorway. Wait, they won a race? Who let that happen? I think that's where my first half video aged the worst, because that was literally the day after I posted it. What I can be happy about is that you guys still have somewhat of a chance to be kicked out next year. Just know I'm crossing my fingers. CLIMATE CHANGE! On the topic of forgettable, the Gliding Glaciers had one breakout race at Midnight Bay, which wasn't nearly as impressive as that Marble League 2021 climb, but most likely saved your spot for next year. Alpine might not return alongside Iceberg, but this team still has some promise. Remember, the goal is not to retire. And finally, the team that should not have been invited this year. Take a look at this picture. That's from earlier this season. If you somehow get invited back for Season 4, then you're probably JMR's favorite team. The Minty Maniacs were awful. Some of their season moments include the special last place camera at the Mo Motorway, being relegated to a moving obstacle at Midnight Bay, and my personal favorite, founding the Supernova Club at the Stardust Accelerator with the first ever 40 second qualifying lap. Thank you for giving us this wonderful low light reel. Please never come back again. And there you have it. Marbula 1 Season 3 is in the books. And while it was incredibly frustrating at times, it was also entertaining. Thank you for watching, enjoy the little memes I put together, and remember, reach for the stars. Hello, folks. I just got shot in my butt. Thank you. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. This, today, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. You're all right. I was just helping you. <laughs> no, I was just helping you. Go on. I'm going to help you. Go on. Go on. I'm going to help you. Thank you for that insightful report. Is. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> But mighty splits. The top 10 separated by just under three seconds. Last place runner Minty Fresh, who I don't know if that's a, considered a supernova here, that is over eight seconds back. Maybe that's a nova. Novas tend to be slower than supernovas.